us for Foody Fridays are the parents of Chef Rodelio Aglibot. Tawagin po natin sila, Tita Reggie, Tita Sally Aglibot. Thank you so much for joining us once oh, again. again. Maligayang Pasko po. Maligayang <laughs> Pasko po. Maligayang Pasko po. All right, so we're cooking again. Napakasarap talaga ng mga niluluto ni Chef Rodelio. Uh, we're making the beef skewers yeah, this time. Yeah, so the time. beef skewers. So, you know, obviously, like I said, my dad puts his little trick growing up. He puts Sprite in here to make help it tenderize and give a little bit of citrus flavor. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, you know, since we don't, we're doing it, typically you do this on a barbecue, but here I'm gonna do it on a hot pan. All right. Mm. All right. So with a little bit of oil in there, so we're gonna cook that up right there. Um, yeah, and so I remember, you know, growing up and my dad would, you know, I, I would like have him open up a can of Sprite or 7-Up and put him like, what are you doing? And then, you know, you know he was the, the first ones to teach me the essence of, the, of cooking and how the marinating part was important. Uh-huh. And um, and so yeah, he was you know definitely my first teacher. I'm been, uh, you know I didn't I wasn't I wasn't planning on being a chef growing up. It would just sort of happen to I fell in love with it. And but you've been cooking ever since, yeah. I've been cooking ever since. You know when I was uh, I my first job was at Kentucky Fried Chicken when I was 16 years old. Uh huh. And then I worked um, at McDonald's briefly, only because my friends worked there. Uh huh. And then I washed dishes where my dad worked, and I, uh, you know, so I learned everything in the kitchen in the restaurant industry. Our family grew up; we had restaurants growing up. Yeah. Yeah. And now you've got your own restaurants too. I have, I have a few of them, and you know, and they're a lot of work, but you know, really exciting. One of the one of the uh, projects I'm working on for next year mm -hmm. is I want to do a, the premier Filipino restaurant in the country, and so we're working on finding a space in Chicago. We're gonna have a karaoke. Um, Yay. A bar to it, and I'm cooking. I want to cook Filipino food that's true to what we're, you know, what the food is, and you know, I think as chefs, we, I don't want to mask what we're doing. I want to make it the way, you know, my parents taught me how to eat it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, Tita Sally, growing up nung Pasko, ano yung paborito nyo pagkain? Well, we usually make a rescaldo. Yes. yes. That's his favorite too. Uh -huh. Mom make a rescaldo, so we make a rescaldo, and then after church, that's what we eat. I see. Yeah. So that's a tradition. Oh, a palagi yes. yung it ginagawa. Is, it is. Yes. I see. And then Tito Reggie, kayo naman po yung mga Paskong ginagawa nyo. Kayo rin ba naghahanda ng lahat ng pagkain? Uh, usually no. Usually <laughs> really, no. No, uh, because uh, they do all the making of the rescaldo. Uh -huh. And pants it sometimes. Yeah, so it's yeah. the first it's the first time during the year where you're just like, okay, <laughs> yeah. you guys can take care of everything. Yes. You're making the arroz caldo. Uh -huh. All right. And we all go to church. Yes. Nagsisimbang gabi pa rin kayo? Oh, yes. Aha, that's a very Filipino tradition that even here in Los Angeles people are doing. Yes, they are. Oh. Yeah. So wow. when we are in the Philippines during the Christmas season, mm -hmm. that we do go Simbang to gabi. Simbang Gabi. That's right. And there's putubong bong and bibingka to go with it after church. Oh, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Uh, right. Well, I'm gonna. Well, right now we have the eggplant, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna test it with a little bit. So it's getting. Oh, there. It's getting tender. So I want it to finish its cooking in the coconut milk. But well, we're gonna get a lot of the flavor from the beautiful peppers. Look Maybe. at that vibrant color. And yeah. uh, some chilies, because I love to have the chili. Okay, the does it have to be a special kind of chili, No, chef? we use jalapeno here, yellow and, um, and green. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously want to get the green and the red together mm -hmm. for the festive holiday season. But, um, and then coconut milk. Mm. Just enough to cover. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little salt and pepper again. And so this is a, a little bit, so this one that I'm adding now is a little bit of mixture of vinegar and soy sauce in a little bit of black pepper in here so it's almost like a adobo base but there's no this is completely vegetarian mm -hmm. but full of flavor but i full can of flavor. imagine and so we're just going to let that simmer and let it cook down until it gets a little thicker so i I'll see take a few minutes here and here i'm checking the skewers and so now we're going to make the sauce for the skewers and that's the fun part so we have a little bit of brown sugar and so this one this is a uh, because i love but this, I can have but this every day. <laughs> but I you and to, all of us Filipinos, yeah? So you mix the brown sugar. So it makes sugar. a little bit of brown sugar in there. You know, and so what, what it does, it, it makes it less salty, but it actually gives it this sort of like 
caramel kind of mm. flavor to it. So I'm gonna mix this up a little bit and break up the sugar. And then here I want is a little a lot of pepper. I'm gonna give a little spice, but I'm gonna use pepper as predominant spice. Okay. And then to balance it out is gonna be lime juice. Ooh. Fresh lime juice. Oh. Oh, so the patis, the sugar, the brown sugar, and then the lime, lime juice, the lime and juice. lots of pepper. Lots of pepper. Mm. So it has a spiciness, it has a sweetness, and it has a little tartness to it. Mm. And then when you have, um, you know, the beautiful smokiness from grilling or cooking off the, the barbecue, it really is really going to go well. Yeah. Look at that. So you, even in the pan, you get nice color. Yeah. You, know, you just have to be, be uh, patient, as I thought. Right. Like, so you do that, um. if you don't have a barbecue, you can do it in a pan. Yeah. yeah. You know, you go, when you go to the Philippines, you, you, they cook off everything off on the streets and, you know. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. I mean, good luck the, sa mm -hmm. Exactly. Sarap, sarap. Yeah. Um, barbecue, di ba? Yeah. All right, so we're making beef skewers and an eggplant with spicy coconut sauce. When we return, we're actually going to get to try it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back here on Kababayan today.